They want him to keep pressing forward and not do anything dumb, I would imagine. If my high school French serves me, Sean. <laughs> but you can usually tell what they're saying without knowing what they're saying. Coming forward yeah, you kinda, out of the you, game. You kind of know what they're saying. In fact, that's why we have so many international fighters. Oh, good right hand. Two right hands from Azadine right there. I think that's what they're trying to get him to throw more of. That's not going to help that cut. No, and that works, though. It works because the left hand of Ashilov is down, I mean, down by his waist. Look how he carries that left low. Right there, see it? And now, I always wanted to think. Oh, right hand again. again. Little hook over the top. Wow. Lightweights. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These are 135 pounders, and they are dynamite. Round number four scheduled for five. It has been uh, nonstop action. Yeah. <laughs> it's been blistering just like this. Good left. Good. Again, left. Look at oh, these punches. Combinations. Keep, keep throwing them. That Gosh. was nice. Azadine right there. Four punch combination. And that's why he's winning this fight. Of he course. Is, uh, he's got, like I said, I can't imagine any lightweight in the world who has more experience than he has in the international stage. Sure. Ranked number three by the WSB. And one of those, the guys ahead of him, we'll see on Astana tomorrow night. Well, you can see the number why one in the world. He's ranked number three. He's very good. He's got a good, good heart. Now his hands can come down a little bit, as Adin has, but he's so far away from his opponent that, that uh, Ashilov cannot hit him, and he's kind of pumping up with those shots. He's taking a breather here in this round. It is the fourth round. Remember, uh, we've said it before here. What all the good trainers tell their fighters, I want you to have a big final round. I want you to leave this fight in the, in, at the end with a big round. Well, we've seen in the World Series of Boxing, the round four, if there ever is a round, they sort of take off. Although you could question as to whether or not they're taking this one off, really. For sure. It's that fourth sure. round because they want to come out and close the show in that fifth round. Well, this is why I say he may be taking this round off because it, he's the one tying up. Azadine taking breaths in there while he's, while okay. he's tying. Azadine's peace. Yeah. He's, he's Crafty very good, is the word. Very good, yeah. He punches going backwards or forward. Uh, Rashid does. These oh, foot feints from him. This is all experience. You know, he learned this from the gym and from the, the many bouts and battles that he's had. Look at this. That's a flurry there from Oxalab that went absolutely nowhere because Azadine, ooh, snuck in an uppercut right there. Azadine was well protected. Azadine better got to be careful because he's been uh, hitting on the brakes many times. This, this referee is not going to put up with that. Jose Benet is a veteran referee. From Puerto Rico making the trip here to China. There it is. That's a very good point. And when he drags that left hand, too, after he jabs, yeah. he drags that left hand. Nice punch to start round right. number five there Good from point. Oxalov. I'm just saying the way he finishes, if you could step back and, and, and fire an uppercut off his right hand. Oh, Ooh. you hear that? That was a that big was an punch. punch. Ooh punch. <laughs> the, the sweat landed over here on yeah. us, and we're 12 <laughs> feet from the ring. Round five, lightweights. Paris needs a win. That's up to Azadine in the white trunk to even this tonight. We're here for two nights, remember. All 10 fighters on both teams will fight and a ton of money up for grads, 500,000 crisp United States American dollars. And it's so important for Azadine to, to get a victory here to set the tempo for the rest of the fighters. You know, the, the rest of the Paris fighters are in the back watching this. They do want to be united in this fight, in, the, in this night of competition. Azadine is so slick. Off those breaks, he's always firing, trying to sneak one in. Yeah. His Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's always, oh, there, there it is, there it is. You see it? You see he snuck one in there? He sneaks he one snuck right off the break. He sneaks one <laughs> he's in. He's like, here's one, here's one to go. Here, take that with you. Here's one. Here's I'll one give for you. Know, here's, here's one. He's just, he's just, yeah, right hand. just, just to get under your skin. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It just makes you angry that he can get away with that. Oh, good oh. combination from Azadine here. He's, he's, he's a good, as I said before, he's a sharpshooter. And he, he and throws from some awkward position, Sean. I'm <laughs> telling you, his head is down. He's landing punches. You know, normally fighters 
We watched. They're, they're looking right into your chest or right yeah. into your eyes. He looks like he's almost looking down and then <laughs> over the top. He's like subterfuge. Here he comes with a stealth punch. Well, he's like uh, faking you out because he's looking down he's at your feet and hit, you hit you right in the nose. Right ahead. <laughs> Interesting style. And, and it's all been learned as, as a fighter. You know, uh, all this stuff's been, he, this is years and years of uh, work in the gym and the ring as a boxer. Under Inside the final left. minute. And they know it, I tell you, since that opening round, it has been Ashilov who's fought uphill. And look at the veteran fighter, Azadine, knowing there's about 40 seconds left, starts throwing the cover. I give it one last burst here yeah. to try to close the show. Starts kicking it up. He you know, you get, you get that three minute clock in your head. You, you realize how much, really how much is gone in the, in, in the round. You know when you need to turn it on. You know what the judges are looking for. You know where the judges are. Well, good right. Yeah, he stunned him a little bit with that it. one. Too little, too late. As we close the show on the lightweights tonight. Included in the World Series of Boxing. Three continents, 12 teams this year. And KK, unlike in the United States, he makes his announcements just from the corner. A little change of pace here. I think he's ready to go as soon as he gets the approval from the the other telecasts we have. Over 150 members of the worldwide media here tonight. I see them up in the press seats above us. Yeah, we got a good seat. KK's making his way into the ring now. Jose Benet, here we go. 